attach the bowl, I just use a few small coils around the outside just to be sure it doesn't come off. Are these a little drier than you would normally trim? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, these are quite dry. The bowl's probably alright, but these these are getting quite dry now. So this, this is the main turning tool that I'll be using. Um, this is, I guess, kind of a sharp and loop tool. Um, Do you get these here? Yeah. 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 So this is a nice new one, so it's nice and sharp. So I start at the base. I tend to have my base is quite narrow, so you'll notice I turn quite a lot off here. So I use the tip to get the majority off. <laughs> and I'll I'll try and tap to try and work out how how thick that, that is. So I guess the more the more kind of hollow sounding it is, the thinner it is. <laughs> I'll still turn through every now and then. <laughs> so I'll try and just flare that up a little bit so it runs well with the pedestal. And then I'll, I'll turn a foot ring in, in all my pieces. Because, because this is a stoneware clay, I would burnish this. And what I use is a spoon without a handle because it snaps off. <laughs> <laughs> so just speed the wheel up. So I guess this would be easier to burnish if it was a bit, if it wasn't quite as dry as it was yet. Yeah. 
and then I would stamp the base with my little stamp. And I've just tidy up that rim now the coils are off. There you go.